Hello, Keith Livingston from Hypnosis101.com, the place to learn hypnosis and NLP. Today, part two of our video series, Your Reality is Not Real, Nor Is Mine. If you haven't seen part one, it's a good idea to watch that one first so this one makes sense. Now in part one, I said the word vase and the word base, and I suggested that you would hear vase with your eyes open and base with your eyes closed. I got two really interesting sets of responses. For the first group, it worked exactly as I suggested it would. They heard vase with their eyes open, base with the eyes closed, and many of them were a little freaked out about how that would work. It seems impossible. The second group said they only heard the word vase with a V, and often they would add a comment such as, well, I guess I'm not suggestible. I find both of these responses extremely fascinating, and the reason is they both heard vase, and yet on that audio track, I did not speak the word vase. In that section where I repeat, not once did I say the word vase. It was always base. Yet both groups heard vase at one point or another. Now why does that work? Well, it's the power of suggestion. Now a suggestion is simply an idea being introduced. And I introduced an idea visually. When I shot the video initially, I said the word vase all the way through the repeating section. I then edited that audio, got rid of that audio track, and flew in an audio track of me saying bass with a B. So you see vase, the audio track is bass. So the mind is presented with two conflicting pieces of information. You get the visual of a V versus a B, and the auditory which says B. Okay? So what do you do? Well, in most cases, the visual suggestion of a V will overrule the auditory on the track. So what that means is your mind just took that B sound and changed it into a V like that just because of the suggestion from the visual. Now it's fascinating to me that some people only heard a V sound even though it wasn't there at all in the audio track and I think here's what's happened. I think that they initially saw the V voicing and they heard the word vase even though it wasn't there and when they were about to close their eyes, they said something to themselves along the lines of, hey, this word isn't going to change just because I close my eyes. It's going to stay the same. And that suggestion took hold and they were able to create what we call an auditory hallucination in their minds just like that. That is a powerful mind. Congratulations. Now in the next video, we're going to talk about why this ability to shift reality, to change our perception of reality, is so important to us. Before then, pop on over to hypnosis101.com and sign up for my newsletter. You'll learn a lot about hypnosis and NLP, and it's free. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.